Alrighty, here comes the good part. Now it's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Renee Sunday to the show. Welcome, Dr. Renee. Hi, thank you. I'm so excited. It's just wonderful. I learned so much already. <laughs> well, bless you for saying that. I'm really delighted to have you here. You have an incredible bio. I mean, I've never heard this combination of things. You, why don't you just tell us a tiny bit about yourself and, and then we'll get down to the meat of this. Well, yes, I have been entrusted with so many hats, but you know what happened? Life happened. So, I, from, you know, for 13 years, I thought my passion and purpose was anesthesiologist. Mm. But I lost my job not once, but twice. And the second time I went from six figures to zero in one day. Oh. And so I bridged out and I, re, you know, pretty much reinvented myself. And now I actually balance all the hats in one. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. It's, it's an incredible life story. And I always say that I want these shows to be more like sharing a cup of tea or coffee with a good friend. So I have my cup of tea here. <laughs> you had your, your drink for the morning, your coffee plus coca-cola you were saying to really just get up for the show which is awesome but i want to jump in because one thing i've realized doing these shows is the time goes awfully fast and i'm here for you today i want to serve you as best i can and help you and i think one thing i want to say before that is that uh, you know you're not doing this alone you're not being vulnerable all by yourself you're doing this also for the viewers who share similar issues we all have obstacles so it's not you alone, we're in this together, and you just happen to have the courage and the strength to say, here's my issue, and I want to get past it and reach out for help. So before I let you talk, I'm going to give you one quote, which is a quote from Richard Bach, and it says, here's the test to find out whether your mission on earth is finished. If you're alive, it isn't. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Which is to say, we all have, we all have work to do. So tell me, how can I help you? Well, I think the biggest concern I've had is, as you said, uh, I'm an anesthesiologist. And, you know, in the medical field, we tend to be fact-based, F-A-C-T. You know, if I write an order, I, you know, I guarantee with 100% that it's going to be done with pretty quickly, without a question, unless, you know, it looks very weird. But... Now being a coach or being in, we could even say corporate America, being a, a business owner, you know, people have to look at your website at what, at least seven times before they have, you know, more interest. And then they may come back seven more times before they even purchase. So that's kind of been my major, uh, you know, I'm, I'm much better because <laughs> I've been a business owner a while now, but you know, that still kind of comes up because in the medical field, when I'm, uh, you know, doing the role of anesthesia, um, someone may ask me, but what do you practice, you know, what did you do your training? But they don't go in deep uh, by me saying who I am, my title, meaning, you know, my name, I'm Dr. The anesthesiologist. They already have a, a sense of trust. They believe that I'm in the right place. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my purpose, if you will. But, you know, as being a business owner, you know, we have to kind of reinvent ourselves and warm ourselves up to our clients and customers on a continuous basis, <laughs> not it's just for sure. one occurrence. It's for sure. It, it, it looks like a very attractive, easy field, but I think once you jump in, you realize the challenges. And I see that you, you know, you've got your eyes wide open and you, you expressed it perfectly about, you know, you know, yet people have to have repeated visits before they start to know, like, and trust you. And then they have to have even more to get them to purchase from you. So let me just ask, how do you feel about that? Those are the facts on the ground. How do you feel about that? Well, initially I felt, uh, was I doing the right thing? You know, was I really uh, moving toward, I'm going to say, my purpose and destiny in life? Because, you, know, it, it, you know, it evolves. <laughs> yes. And the initial, and then I felt frustrated because, you know, I went to school 13 years to be an anesthesiologist. Uh, but you do get the sense that you're in the right place because, and I know not to be too open, but to be open, the patient, t you know, does fine doing the procedure. They wake up, you know, they, whatever they came for is taken care of. But with the business on the side, you know, um, two clients told me they watched me for a year 
before they even, you know, wanted to actually, uh, you know, work together, play together, whatever. Term. So now I'm in a better place. I I'm actually in a much better place. But some days when people ask you just simple questions, you know, uh, it's it's not the same. It's a it makes you feel like okay, are you one in the right place and two, are you really giving value? Are you giving value? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's very interesting because as an anesthesiologist, people trusted their lives to you. <laughs> they did. They lay down and they, you know, as good as you are, they, they there's no guarantee that they're going to wake up. So they entrusted their lives to you, and it's. So interesting how much easier it is for people to do that than to sign up for a coach. <laughs> but it, I think it actually speaks to how vulnerable we are when we work with someone who says, I'm going to help you, you know, trust me, you know, with your, your deepest fears, your deepest pain, your deepest challenges. Trust me with that. I'm not going to harm you. I'm going to help you. So that, that takes real, and this is not really addressing your, your issue, but it's just a, remo it's remarkable how much more trust they have to place in you in order to do that. Yeah. So it's a huge, uh, it's a huge statement of trust when they do. It's a huge compliment when they do. Now, what is your, what is your mission? Do you have a, a a central, like if you had a bumper sticker, I love this question. If you had a bumper sticker that expressed your mission, your purpose, the reason you wake up every morning, what would it say? Um, actually, I'm known as the platform builder. So what I do is I help people pretty much share their message, their purpose with the world. And, you know, we do that in several different, um, you know, ways. Okay, so but can you go underneath it a little bit? Like, what? Why do you do that? That's what you do. But the bumper sticker is the why. Why? Because I want you to uh, let your light shine. You know, for you to be fulfilled in life, that you actually feel that you have uh, pretty much have achieved things in life, have accomplished things in life, and and you just happy. You know, happiness is different, you know, meanings for many people, but usually that means they have love, peace, and, and you know, profits. <laughs> <laughs> so, without getting into the details, is there one, one sentence that you could say that my bumper sticker, sticker says, you know, peace on earth, my bumper sticker says, let your light shine. What does your bumper sticker say? It has to be smaller than I think it, I like to uh, like, let your light shine. Let your light shine. Yeah. So I think when people are coming to you and saying, you know, what are your qualifications? What would it do for you to hold on to that bumper sticker idea? I think that's very good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that I, I see a little you know maybe before in the beginning when they asked you it felt yeah, maybe you were a little offended hey i'm a i'm a doctor nobody asks me this right <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> like what do you mean what am i you know of course i'm good enough so maybe um you can speed things up by just keep on focusing i'm here to help your light shine i'm here to help your light shine and and that's going to draw people because they're, they, they want that. Yes. yes. So how's, how's the business been going for you? We grew it now. Uh, it's actually, like I said, it was a, a big transition um, in the beginning because, you know, my confidence was there totally for anesthesia. And now I'm in a whole nother room. <laughs> so I had to work on my confidence, my mindset that people can see that light in me that I could actually draw them to me. So that took a while. I'm just being honest. That, that was a process. And now things are really calipot now because people uh, are seeing, you know, they can sense my energy, not really what I'm saying. And I think that's a really important to, you know, to, you know, be authentic and the energy speaks more a lot than your, 
website and, and you know the things that you're saying when you're speaking people want to see that you actually have a space for them and they feel that you know via your in exactly so how long has it been actually since you've been doing this to watch the rest of this episode click on the link below the video now if you're on youtube and if you're on facebook click on the watch the full episode button when the video is done